A man travelling on an El Al Israel Airlines flight has filed a lawsuit against the airline due to allegedly getting injured while stuck in a seat. The incident occurred on a flight from Tel Aviv to New York in October. The man said he was forced to spend money on medical treatment and, according to the lawsuit, he believes El Al should be liable for his injuries. Eshach Wiseman filed a lawsuit in the U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of New York on March 20th. While flying from Tel Aviv to New York on an 11-hour flight on October 23rd, Wiseman was seated in business class on Israel's national airline. Sources report that the passenger got stuck and was seriously injured when a flight attendant had to pull him free. In the lawsuit, Wiseman alleges that El Al should be held accountable for his injuries because the in-flight crew did not show him how to operate the seat, which was a lie-flat business class seat aboard one of El Al's Boeing 787s. According to Wiseman, he was unaware that the seat reclined, which was why he got injured mid-flight. The lawsuit claims that the passenger's lower extremity became entrapped within the seat as it was being reclined, prompting him to call a flight attendant to receive assistance. Wiseman, who is described as a, quote, gentleman of advanced age, alleged that the flight attendant, quote, unquote, forcibly pulled him free. This resulted in the passenger sustaining a serious and permanent injury that has caused him, quote, great pain, agony, and mental anguish. Gary Leff from The View from the Wing travel blog said seats in some premium cabins can be complex. To be fair, premium cabin seats are complicated, Leff wrote. I once had my laptop next to me in A&A first class when I fell asleep, and having woken up in a daze, I wasn't thinking about it as I restored my seat to a more upright position. I cracked the screen's case, though it remained usable. The blogger, however, said he has never witnessed a passenger being injured from a seat. I have never seen a passenger get stuck in the seat itself, such that physical removal by a crew member would lead to injury, Leff explained. Wiseman's lawyers are reportedly citing the Montreal Convention, which holds airlines responsible for in-flight passenger injuries unless they can prove the injury was the result of the passenger's negligence. Passengers often turn to the convention to seek compensation after being burned by hot beverages on board a flight. Recently, a European court ruled that the convention can also be used by passengers diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, following an accident. So what do you think of this incident? It's difficult to imagine how a passenger could be stuck whilst reclining a business class seat, but do you think airlines should be checking with passengers to ensure that they understand how to operate these contraptions? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.